Good afternoon, everybody. We are back. Friday afternoon, the market did not do any better as we were gone. The gains, or the gains, the losses continued on, and uh, it's, I don't know, it's another week in the books, man. We're going to be back next week, right? So we got something to look forward to there. We've got Paul Wright, Brian Wayne, and Mr. Simon. What's going on, guys? Tim joining the channel here. What's going on, Tim? How you doing today? Let's go see what the stock market is doing to us because we had a decent bounce in AMC now trying to go back down, sitting at 1644 right now, down 2.5% on the day. Shiba Inu coin was trying to go higher but lost some ground here, sitting at 2423. GameStop was moving higher, it was all the way up to 139.72, currently sitting at 137.52. Farmy was up well above 13 cents for a while, sitting at 13.25, sitting at 14, 14.36 this morning, giving back all of those gains, dipping down to 12.75, 12.50, not even 12.75, my God, 12.50 was right there at the all-time low, which I believe is like 12.40, and currently sitting with a couple tiny green candles at 13.01, the NASDAQ getting blasdacked today. NASDAQ sitting down 2.5%. I truly do think that we will be bouncing off this level of support down here. If we don't reach all the way down here, you know, this level right in here could hold up where we're seeing. So we're going to hope for a turnaround on Monday, knowing that we've got this little candle and this little candle that could have provided support at the level we're at right now. But very, very highly likely to retest this level at 12.5. So we might see another percent or two decline in the NASDAQ before reaching support and hopefully bouncing. Same deal with AMC. AMC sitting at 16.40. Very, very highly likely that we retest that 14.50 level before bouncing off and moving higher. So I am hopeful for next Monday. I would, I would imagine we're going to get some support then. We've got Prague in the red. Prague sitting at 95.99 right now. Ethereum, Shiba, and Bitcoin all down. Sundial sitting at 52.05, still green on the day. Malin Auto actually making 5% on the day, not too bad there. CEI down about 9%. The SPY getting ripped 2.5% today. SPY really selling off this, this late Friday afternoon. BBIG down 3.5%, Highcraft Mining down 4.5%, and Netflix still down 1% on the day. Overall brutality in the markets. I'm going to leave the Farmy on here, though, for a while and see if we get any action after hours. See if they have their results from their shareholder meeting come out after hours there. Yo, Clarinho, Samanino, what's going on, man? BBBY, Bed, is that Bed Bath & Beyond? Bed Bath & Beyond's running right now. Bed Bath & Beyond is up 10% right now. Very interesting. Huge candle towards the end of the day here. Any news? Any news? Baby products chain attracts buyer's interest. Baby products chain. Bye-bye uh, baby unit, huh? So, Bed Bath & Beyond added a bye-bye baby unit, whatever that is. Seems to be garnering a lot of attention from investors up 10%. Very, very nice candle for, for Bed Bath & Beyond there going from 1620 all the way to 1790, almost 18 bucks in a one minute period. So I would imagine that was actually probably less than one minute too. So major gain in Bed Bath & Beyond right there. Heck yeah. And then uh, this stocks, the Yellowstone acquisition, the one that was talking about commercial airlines having a very nice day today. So I don't know if you guys got in here earlier on this run up, but it's still continuing to grow there. I think we were looking at it in the $7 range. Not too bad. We do have a couple green stocks in a sea of red today. So if you guys are in either one of those, you seem to be doing pretty well. Clint, can you in ape language explain to me what's going on with their AMC and GME positions? The way I read it, we're going to be closing their short positions on both or at least AMC soon in regards to Melvin. Sorry. Uh, you know what, Eric? I'm not going to lie, dude. I have not read up on everything that they're doing. I have only seen the like the headlines and I have seen that they are going to be opening a new fund that is uh, how do you put it? more focused on shorting companies. So I don't know if if they're going to be closing out all of their short positions in their current fund 
or if they're going to be transferring those over and, and giving ownership to the new fund that they open up. So uh, I, I would honestly, I would need to read a little bit more about that, that entire situation before I could give it to you in ape language. But those would be some possibilities. Either yes, closing out and completely liquidating all of their positions in their current fund and, and opening up a new one and, and reshorting or so on. Um, or the alternative is to just transfer ownership from one fund to the next. And I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't be able to do that. Eric, by the end of June, I thought, possibly. Pringleton, maybe Pringleton knows a little bit more about it. Hello, everyone. Cassie, what's going on, Cassie? A $1 million candle. Yeah, PB. Oh, did it get halted? Oh, man, I thought it was. God, Farmy breaking down below 13 there. Giant red candle, 1293. Not liking that. I wanted it to stay above 13. We will keep our eyes on this, but it's Bed Bath & Beyond. Where did it go? Did it just now get halted or did it get halted back here? 1532, 33, 38. Okay, so it did get halted in this area right here. Right here on this candle. Got halted at 33. Didn't back open back up till 38. So, yes, man. Bed Bath & Beyond did have a, a huge candle here. It did get halted, which makes sense. Which makes sense. It was more than a 10% run in, oh, what, uh, uh, from the previous five minutes average. So... Circuit breaker halt there, sold back off, went all the way up to 1860, and now selling off again. So we're going to have to watch that after hours as well to see if anything's going on with Bed Bath & Beyond there. But Farmy turning back green here, sitting at 1302, not a bad candle. AMC 1651, Shiba Inu Coin 2423, and GameStop 137.99. They were also only considering. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so Pringleton does seem to have read a little bit more about it than I have considering closing out that fund and starting a new one. Have you heard of Pinex? If so, what do you think about bot trading? So I have heard of Pinex. Um, I, I've actually seen a lot of a lot of ads on TikTok about Pinex. Bot trading. I like it, man. I like it. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't mind bot trading at all. Here's the thing with bot trading, though. You need to have your strategy and just let it run. Um, bot trading can be a great way for you to set up your trading plan and and literally have no emotions attached to it. Now, bot trading is very limited. Bot trading, you're going to have to put in the criteria, whether it's moving average crossovers, whether it is you know certain search criteria. And then your your search criteria results in a list of stocks, and then the bot picks up the top five, top ten stocks or cryptos, whatever you're trading with it. Um, but as far as entry and exit criteria, yeah, dude, if you've got a trading plan that you think is going to work, and you back test it, and it worked it, it worked throughout history, and and then you decide to move forward with it, it's a good way to take emotions out of your trades. But you also have to know that just based on historical performance does not guarantee future performance. So you can set up a, a back test and it's got a 90% hit rate and you made a million dollars from, you know, over the last year. Put it in real life action and all of a sudden we got a completely different market. Well, now it's, it's not hitting the same. Or now all of a sudden those stocks get some news and it's not hitting the same. So, you know, bot trading is a good way to take emotions out of your game. Tomorrow Moaz, what's up, y'all? Talking about it, talking to short, taking a short break. Victor! Heck yeah, man. Tomorrow's the Moaz, man. It's always tomorrow. Melvin is closing and restarting restarting under a new name, asking investors to reinvest. Fun part is Gabe has said that he will waive the three-month notice to remove funds if the investor reinvests in the new fund. Nice. You will waive the three-month notice to remove funds if. Oh, nice, man. Nice. So if you reinvest your funds, you're going to have access to them right away. You're not going to have to wait three months to get your money back. Hey, Brinkleton, not, not a bad deal. Sounds like he really wants that money reinvested. Okay, then help me out with this. When AMC had the run-up in June, there was some short covering. How many millions was there prior to the June run-up, and then how many are there after the run-up were many? So there was roughly 100. I believe it was 100 and... 
maybe 102 or 105 million. And then after there was about 85 million. It was roughly 17, a net covering of about 17 million shares. Whatever the exact numbers would be, if it was like 87 or 85, and I think it was 85 to 102. But there were roughly 102 million short shares outstanding per Ortex data and per Finto. And following that, following the June run-up, there were 85 million short shares outstanding. Now, that does not mean that all 100 were not covered during that June run-up and then reopened at those higher levels. That's an absolute possibility. But what we had was a net covering of about 17 million. After the June uh, run-up had occurred and you know all the new numbers came out, there were 85 million short shares outstanding. Uh, good afternoon, Keith. What's going on? How you doing, man? Just uh, all just happening right before the GME split vote on the second of June. A suspect. I'm worried Melvin is a fake out. I'm worried Melvin uh, are a fake out and to get the hopes up. And either they don't do it or there's a little impact. Yeah, Pringleton. They might not even do it, man. They might not even do it. I don't know if it's a fake out though. I haven't really looked at them and, and to know if they're trying to fake people out. Good afternoon, everyone. Exciting stuff happening with the Molly NFT and the Meta Night Club a project. Very nice, Frodo. I know you're a big Molly fan out there. How many Mollies do you have, dude? Uh, are you going to partake in the Shiba Influence? So yes, I have spoken. Uh, Shib Queenie messaged me. I have not messaged her back yet. So I, I think she's probably sleeping anyway right now. But I will be messaging her back, messaging her back, hopefully this evening, and and setting that up. But yes, I, I do plan on at least being around on that Friday night. Wasn't it just Easter weekend? This week was horrible, Mister G Spliff. This week was horrible, man. Very very difficult day for the market. Very very difficult week for the market. I would imagine as they get through money, get enough money to reinvest immediately, they'll get all or at least most of it back. Losses incurred by the ones who want to reinvest. Also, new ruling may give them a loan. I have no idea about uh, the new ruling that could be out there. Alan Smith, thank you for the super sticker. Alan Smith says, "What does that say?" Number one. Number one. Number one. Alan, man, thank you very much for that super sticker. You are number one, dude. Not me. You. Number one there. I love it. Thank you, brother. You're not sh uh, Eric, man. My face ain't even pretty, dude. Hey, Clay, just curious. What about Sheep caught your attention that made you want to do videos on it? Enjoy your videos in the very informed. Alan, thank you very much for such a good question. The, the, the massive gains, man. If I had to say one thing, like the first thing that caught my attention, I had no idea how dedicated the Shiba army was. I had no idea that people were so into it. But the fact that it was making just ridiculous gains is, is the first thing that caught my attention about it. Dude, anything that can run millions of percent in a year usually is a scam. Right? I'm not going to lie to you. If it can run millions of percent in a year, like it did in like May of, of 2021, and I honestly, I thought that it could have been a scam. Just another one of those coins out there that's absolutely worth nothing and running up in value, and it's going to get rug pulled or something like all the other cryptos. But it turned out it wasn't. You know, it turned out it wasn't. And it did sell off for a while. And then when it did it again, it's just like confirmation, man. It's like... This is legit. This this coin that we've got here is not only producing but sustaining million percent returns. And there's nothing like that out there. So I'd say that's the first thing that caught my attention. Is Shiba consolidating life with Maine for a very long time? Yes. Shiba Inu coin has been selling off and uh, you know contracting or consolidating for quite some time since that November run up. It's typical to see activity like this, though. If you look at Shiba on a daily graph, you can see, and you, you can't see it pretty, you can't see it well on this graph. This graph only goes back to July. Back here in May, it had ran up to 3,500 points per coin, and then Shiba fell all the way off over the next four or five months to 500 points per coin and steadied off for quite some time. And then in a matter of three days, decided to retest 3,500. That was a huge 
gain in three days, going from 700 points per coin to 3,500 points per coin, a 5x increase. Steadied off for a minute and then shot up to its all-time high that we all know about. And it's been doing basically the exact same thing that it did from May all the way through October here. It's been falling off, falling off, falling off, and then sitting sideways for a very long time. Dude, the beautiful thing about Shiba though, we could sit sideways like this, and then like we did here, in three days, 5X, and then in another five days, you, you know, 3X again, and be sitting on 10X gains in a matter of no time. When Shiba runs, it runs hard. When it falls off, it falls off and, and contracts for a very long time. Do you think Shiba Inu will go up this year to significant? Natalie, I hope so. I hope so. Now, I say I hope so because I, I honestly think regardless of Shibarium, regardless of you know the metaverse, regardless of the game, regardless of any of that, I think that Shiba Inu coin's price is going to be very dependent on the overall crypto market and the overall stock market. Right now, it's bloodbath day after day after day. And how long does that last? You know, that part I do not know, but uh, when investors are confident again, yes, I absolutely expect Shiba Inu coin to run. I'm also eligible for it. Oh, so I have five Molly NFTs, just enough to be eligible to get a free special Molly NFT. Very nice. I am also eligible for a free Dragon Molly NFT, as well as a chance for the raffle for an all expenses paid to trip to Jamaica. Oh, -ho -ho -ho! Frodo, nice, man. All expenses paid to trip to Jamaica. That'd be sweet. Portfolio down a whopping 2.25% today. Ah, JJ, 2.25% lower. AMC only down 1.96%. And then GameStop down 2.58. So you're right between the average there, between those two stocks, man. 2.25%. Not a horrible day. Could have been worse, man. Could have been worse. There's a lot of stocks got blasted today. To be honest, while I've barely been in Shiba yet, plan on to ever the OS, the people involved have all generally been awesome. Many similarities with the apes, I think. Yeah, Pringleton, there, there really are, man. A lot of people that really believe in Shiba Inu coin. And of course, you know, I will tell you this. If you hadn't spent as much time in it as I have, or as a lot of other people have had, have back in back when it, the price was running up dude it's a it's a lot more exciting same deal with amc man people are getting frustrated that the price is coming down people are getting very discouraged that that the markets are acting the way that they are but that's i mean that's expected i mean i think that everybody out there can expect that with, with declines like we've been seeing i think you can expect the the frustration Thoughts on side of flow flow JB Inu coin. Haven't had this haven't had this discussion in a while. Yeah, Mr. Simon, I think the side of flow flow JB Inu coin is one of the best ones that's out there. Simply because it has that JB in the name. I uh, only have one Meta Night Club NFT, but I would like to get more. Frodo, very nice, man. Meta Night Club, that's the one that you actually have access to the nightclubs though, right? Hello, everyone. Clay, just released the snakes. Yes, Danelle. I did release the snakes. I might post a picture on Twitter later. The one, I got a pretty sweet picture of the little snake with his tongue out. So if you guys are on Twitter later, you'll have to you have to see if I post that picture because it was pretty sweet. And then, oh, man, it was really nice, dude. It was really nice. So I, I let them go by the lake. And they both went down by the water, got a drink of water. And then the little, the little one, I booped his tail. And he actually swam a little bit in the lake and then went over... Uh, kind of, kind of far away, not that far away, but like he clearly out of my reach. And then the bigger one, dude, it was really cool. This the bigger one. He came out of the the tub, and then he crawls up on this log. The log's got some moss on it. There's leaves all over the ground, and it was sweet seeing this. Like, I mean, he's a giant snake for me, but watching this big snake just crawl up on a log, I was like, dang man, that's nature. Ah, uh, can't see. Hello, darling. MRIB community is showing some love. MRIB, what's going on? Clay, make the bleeding stop. Meta pockets. That is my goal. Is to make the bleeding stop, man. I do not want the bloodbath that we have currently been witnessing. Fred, oh shucks. Thank you. You're the best. You're the best. Hello, Danelle. Thanks for all the kind words in your Twitter message. If you guys didn't know already, Danelle is the best. We, we, I, I knew it. I don't know if everybody knew it. We've both gone through excitement and tough times. Seen distractions come come and go but we are still standing pringleton absolutely man 
And and because of that, I do see the similarities there. I like when the markets do that, so I can stack up on Shiba. Life with Maine. If you guys still got some buying power, yes, you are you're adding on some massive dips right now. So that is very good. Seconded Frodo Baggins. Been enjoying all the coffee and cat memes recently. Very nice, man. Uh, Donnell does post a ton of those, right? I think in the long run, Shiba retracting from the all-time high allowed a lot of folks like myself to get more coins than they would have if they if it stayed up there. Can't wait for it to run again. It will benefit. Matthew, that's the thing, man. It, you know, a lot of people, if they see it go down for six months like it has been, you know, they think it's never going to go up again. They kind of give up. This is the end. It's never going to rise. And, you know, they, they develop this fear-only mentality. And you're right. You know, having been like having it at the, a quarter of the price that it was before, a fifth of the price that it was before, uh, it really does allow you to get more coins than you ever would have been able to if it never came back down. Now, clearly, if it never came back down and it only ever went up, people, yes, would be, everybody would be profitable, right? And I, and I truly do think that people would be happier and less stressed out if it never comes down. But I can almost guarantee you're sitting on more coins now than you would have been able to sit on if you if it never did pull back. Uh, yes, Toad of the Brinkleton. I guess Clay brought the Snake Whisperer and uh huh. AMC Trapper. No, dude, no. I had I had two snakes right outside the door this morning. Grabbed them both and took them down to the lake. Um, I don't want those snakes sitting by my house like that. So. They still creep me out though, dude. I'm not a I'm not a huge snake guy. I took those guys down. I was sweating this morning having to to deal with those guys. After hours, guys, we don't have anything going on right now. AMC sitting at 16.50. Shiba Inu coin 24.23. GameStop sitting at 137.78, down 0.10%. The Farmy is sitting 0.70% higher at 13.02. Not a lot of action there. Kind of volatile these this after hours. 13,000 shares being traded on that minute, but only 16 and 10 shares being traded there. Five shares being traded right here. Very, very low volume after hours right now. Prague it closed today at 96.19, currently sitting at 96.06, down slightly. The NASDAQ got blasted today. 12,839 points, uh, down 2.5%. That's a, a very large decline for an index. Ethereum, Shiba, and Bitcoin down on the day. Sundial had a decent day, up about 3%. Mullen Auto had a decent day, up 5.5%. CEI got blasted, down almost 10% today. SPY got blasted as well, down 2.76%, and then another 0.28% after hours. Almost a 3% loss in the SPY today. BBIG up a half percent after hours. Highcoff Mining up a half percent after hours. And Netflix down after hours, sitting at $215 per share. Re brutal day, man. Brutal day for the market. I'm telling you. And then Bed Bath and Beyond trying to give back some of its gains that it had on that uh, announcement about the baby products that it had there. Nope, not the one I wanted. This is the one I wanted. All right, cool. Eight Father going crazy. What is the Eight Father going crazy? What's the Eight Father doing, man? I haven't seen the Eight Father in a while. Put $100 in Shiba every two weeks since the dip. Life with Maine. That is an excellent way to dollar cost average, man. Snakes will catch rodents, though. I'd rather have the rodents. I'd rather have the rodents, man. I'm not going to lie. I honestly, I don't think these garter snakes, one, were big enough to catch rodents. And, and two, uh... I really would rather have the rodents, but no, nah, dude, they were, they were chilling out right where Chipro like goes up to siding. That's where they were hanging out. I can't have any snakes doing anything to Chipro. I will not like that. Although I think Chipro probably would have been able to eat them. Uh, I don't want that happening. Have you checked out MRIB, a lit community and solid developers? No, Mark, actually I have not. MRIB, what is that coin? Just wanted to say hi, buddy. Rob Bliss, what's going on, man? At Physio right now. Physical therapy, is that what we're saying here? Rob, man, hopefully you enjoy your afternoon and everything's okay there, but glad to see you stopping by just to say hi. Yes, going more crazy. Ape Father. Dude, how can the Ape Father be going crazy? What is he doing? I want to see the Ape Father doing well. Ape Father provided us with AMZ to Pluto. Ah, hoo, AMZ to Pluto. Dude, that's as catchy as let's get started. Even Kevin O'Leary saying Bitcoin, blockchain, crypto will be in the next 10 to 20 years the 12th sector of the S&P. 
Yeah, it, dude, if you get, listen, I, I, I mean, I don't think that there's any one person that is, like, the guru to follow. And, you know, Kevin O'Leary, very smart guy. But I don't think that anybody needs to just 100% fully rely on any one other person. But yeah, man, I, I also think that crypto is in digital assets, not just cryptocurrencies, but NFTs and, and digital lands like the metaverse and stuff, are they're going to have a, a role in in the future. Uh, clearly those gutter snakes are off are also called sometimes toilet snakes. I seen videos where those snakes hide inside the toilet. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Mr. Simon, there's no snakes in my toilet, man. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. Flat Earth blow my mind. Clay, are you a flat earther? <laughs> no, man, I don't think that the earth is flat, dude. Um, thank you for asking, but I do not think the earth is flat. Seems like a good play, as well as considering burning MRI. MRIB. Interesting. MRIB. I don't know anything about this token. I don't know anything about this token, man. Rob says, because of the software. I'm at physio. You're at physio right now because of the software? What? Oh, yeah. A Baby Doge NFT mint starts in five minutes. Baby Doge is minting NFTs. Very interesting. I did not know that Baby Doge had an NFT collection. But I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that think Baby Doge is cute. So they will be buying Baby Doge NFTs. Frodo, you looked into Baby Doge NFTs at all? AMC ticking green after hours. We do like that. Keep an eye on that. Farming down here. It doesn't look like they've had any news released at all. You know what I want to do? I want to go to farming. And... Let me go to their website real quick and see if they released anything about that shareholder vote. I have no idea, man, why they just leave everybody hanging and never let anybody know what they're doing with their company. No. No releases whatsoever. So, thanks, farming. I can almost guarantee they're not releasing because they're going to have to make a statement about a, a buyback or, or something else. If they're not releasing any data, they probably don't have the... They probably don't have the reverse split. If they had the reverse split, they'd probably tell us. Oh, thank gosh. A like button smashed. Kalani. Good deal. Everybody else smashed the like button as well. Uh, 24 likes right now. Come on, guys. 24 likes, only 48 people in here. You know, you know that the market is having a brutal day when there's only 48 people hanging out and and we don't even really stress over the market, but we still only have 48 people in here right now. So a lot of people have to be just chilling out and starting their weekend early today. Mass burn party was kind of bustling. 70 million Shiba burned by his channel. Rule that wheel. I think that, you know, I, I haven't been following what he's been doing lately. 70 million. That's still not too bad, though, man. 70 million is still like what? 1,200 bucks? 1,500 bucks? 1,500 bucks isn't horrible. Um. But I, I do think a lot of people, man, a lot of people are not necessarily losing interest, but they're a lot less excited than they were before. Hey, you guys, Pugnacious, what's up, man? Get these snakes out of my... Dude, I, I promise you, there's no snakes in my toilet. There's no snakes in my toilet. There, nope, 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 nope. There's a snake in my boot. Yes, Brian, now that one I do know. I had bull snakes in my bedroom, a garage, and kitchen when I moved to the house that nobody had lived in months. It was creepy. Cassie, I can imagine that would be extremely creepy, and I do not want any snakes in my house. Brian, I was just going to say that. You're going to say, there's a snake in my boot. Uh, beat that like button like a football bat. Yes, beat that like button like a football bat, please. We're not leaving. Cafe Ole. I do not plan on leaving either. AMC, no, Melamamas, no, no, no. I even hit like early today. I trusted you and you delivered. I must be getting too nice in my old age. Pringleton, thank you for being nice, and thank you for clicking the like button early. I have not looked into Baby Doge NFT, to be honest, Clay. There are so many NFT projects right now, it's hard to keep track. I have been entering a ton of NFT giveaways on Twitter, though. There are tons. Yeah, dude, you gotta you gotta look into getting one of those sneaker head those sneaker heads NFTs wh whatever they are. I have I've seen a lot of hype surrounding those things. A lot of people clicking the like button and leaving comments and and retweeting those. So that that looks like it's gonna be a popular project. I don't know why. I mean, you can just make shoes, but sneaker heads might be the new thing there. 
The real ones are here, AMC Trapper. The real, one, the real ones are here, man. The real ones are here. You're here. I love it. You've said it best, man. Not specifically him, but burns need to be a sustainable effort. Hey, man. And, and you know, sometimes sustainable isn't sexy, right? People want to see a, a trillion Shiba Inu coins burn in one fell swoop. But if you're going to do it, how many times can you do it? How many times can you, if it burns you out, literally, then that's uh, not good. You know, we need to, we need to burn over time. Trevor, we're, we're the all-star. You really are the all-stars, guys. I mean, look at this chat right now. It's basically all blue and all green. We didn't know the exact time of the burn party until today. If we knew in uh, that way in advance, everyone could have planned ahead accordingly. Yeah, that probably would have been better too, roulette wheel. Uh, those sneaker heads look, and uh, NFTs look really cool. There's also an NFT project that the art has planets for heads. That looks really cool. I have not seen that one yet, Frodo. I have not seen that one. Hit it, hit that, what, hit that like, blue pumpkins. Ah, uh, whoo, hit the like, blue pumpkins. Ah, uh, whoo, it doesn't have the same ring to it, Mellow Mamas, but yes, guys, hit that like button. MC Trevor, you still the Clay Bro ambassador in the MP Discord. I hope so, man. We get, I got an ambassador in the in the Matt Perry's Discord. Let's get it, dude. Pugnacious. Thank you for pointing that out. AMC Trapper's the man. All right. 40 likes. You guys are doing good. Appreciate that. AMC down after hours right now. Sitting at 1650. Shiba Inu coin, 24-24. No action there. GameStop, 138.20. Basically a break even. Farmy sitting one and a half for one point twenty four percent higher after hours. Sorry. 1309 after hours would expect a ton of volatility there unless that news is released nasdaq did terrible today closing two and a half percent lower gamestop we saw that prog sitting down 15.15 percent after hours right now ethereum shiba and bitcoin all down sundial down a half percent after hours mullen break even cei break even a spy down another half percent after hours bbig up almost a percent after hours highcroft down a half and netflix down a quarter of a percent after hours not a ton of action anywhere right now after hours uh, i agree youtube needs to make a tv youtube could make a tv guide what would that look like paul what would that look like if, if YouTube made a TV guide? Interesting. Why the Shiba team? They don't use it for the blockchain and the transactions so we can burn more tokens. Let's see. I'm trying to think if I can... Uh... You know, I don't know if they've ever stated why they're using bone instead of Shiba to pay the gas fees in once Shibirium is launched. I'm going to go ahead and take a guess at, at the why. And this is not like in regards to them. I, I wish I would have known like why they're not doing it, but I don't know. So I'm going to guess on this one. Number one, they can't. They don't have access to the original contract, so they can't use Shiba Inu coin to pay the gas fees in Shibirium. That is the answer that I would like to hear as to why they can't use Shiba Inu coin. It's because they literally can't use Shiba Inu coin. If they can, but they decided to use Bone, uh, I believe it's because you know they want to see the price of Bone increase. They are, they are paid in bone, and they are, you know, they earn bone for free. So uh, they want to make as much money as possible. So you're going to see them trying to increase the price of bone. Now, with that, they're probably going to tell you, well, you know, we're going to use bone instead of Shiba because if you sell your, if you use your Shiba to pay for the gas fees, you're just selling it off there and it could create a downward pressure for Shiba Inu coin. No, nah, dude. No, it's a guaranteed transfer at that point. You have to pay the gas fees. So it's a guaranteed demand if you're using Shiba Inu coin. It, it, it wouldn't have a negative impact on the coin. They wouldn't have a negative impact. So I, I hope they just can't use it. So, uh, Magamosi Mo. Hopefully that answers your question. Good morning, Spider Claude. Good afternoon. What's going on, man? 
Not here to brag, but Ship Queenie followed me back too. She and she read the message I sent her about you in March. Nice, Danelle. Very nice. I'm not here to brag too. I actually don't know if Ship Queenie follows me. I do want to see that. Watch her follow everybody except for me. <laughs> I don't think the Queenie follows me. <laughs> oh, man. Look. Look, it tells you right here if they follow you. It tells you right here if they follow you. Right? Ship Queenie does not say she follows me. If you go to Milkshake, you can see Milkshake follows me. But Ship Queenie... Is a no go, no go, no go. So yes, Ship Queenie does not follow me, unfortunately. Uh, I saw that, saw that, saw that, saw that. There are currently a ton of ape-related NFTs, anthro what? Anthropomorphized animals, skulls, skeletons, and sexy lady NFTs out right now. That right there is the majority of NFT art right now. Frodo, so what would you be able to do to differentiate yourself in an NFT project right now? Clear bro, got a question. All the Shiva that got sent to the Ethereum guy, not even trying to spell his name, Vitalik, I don't blame you. Uh, he sent a pile to India Relief. India Relief sent it back. Where are those coins? Uh, Tim, that's a good question. So I know they sent it back to him and... You can, you might be better off Googling it because he did say what he was going to do with that. He did not want it. And I don't know how much money it was that they had sent back. Um, But you, you can, I'm sure you could find some articles on that because I remember when I was doing those videos talking about them sending it back and stuff. Uh, I don't remember if they had concluded what he was going to do with those tokens so i don't know the answer where those coins are right now but i'm 90 percent positive that they at least said in those articles like what he intended or what he wanted to do with them i just don't know if they you know said what he did do with them did you do a follow-up video about other coins coming out of the sh so Matthew yeah I did a video last night talking about uh, a lot of this stuff where the the deployer wallet for Shiba Inu coin is deploying other coins right now I don't know I don't even know what those coins are how many are being deployed and things like that. Um, maybe one of you guys out there might know, might have a little bit of insight if you've ever created a coin before, but these deployer wallets, I get it if, if multiple people have access to the same wallet, like I get that, especially if you're working on a project, I can understand it, but I am not going to lie. I do not think that this ecosystem development team had anything to do with Shiba Inu coin. I don't think that they had anything to do with Shiba Inu coin and its deployment or its development um i really don't and and i think that they're just trying to the, build this like idea around shiba inu coin to de like develop utility and things like that and and take advantage of the shiba army and, and the popularity that it has but the deployer wallet has been seen deploying new coins and airdropping coins to different people um, the Shiba Inu, the, the ecosystem development team is claiming that that is not Ryoshi, that that is some snake trying to scam people, but I, I don't know, man. I don't even know if they know, they may have just made up Ryoshi, right? Created this great story about a coin that was doing extremely well in price. So I, I do not know, uh, who would be doing that. Hello, Mr. Broke. Libro follows me on Twitter. Forgot my cup. Boom. Now I can say I know a celebrity. Forgot my cup. I am not a celebrity, man. But yes, I, I do try to follow people back on Twitter. And I like this stuff. Like if you post a video or share a video, I, I try my best to, to go out there and like that. 
to India cashed out when Shiba was at point zero 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 nine and used most of the proceeds for aid. Whatever the money, whatever the money was, wasn't used or couldn't be used was sent back to the Ethereum founder. Gotcha. Roulette. Do you know what he did with it after he got it back? That is why I like the Sneakerhead and Planethead projects. Unique art ideas. There are also some AI-generated art NFTs that are pretty cool, too. It doesn't take much to stand out amongst the ape art. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Especially a, a, lot, a lot of the just, like, straight cartoon, um, like, 2D images that are... Uh, how do they say how do they say they are like when they get a feature and then they just put those features together thank you bro yes mogahama Mo oh my gosh mogamasi mogamosi mogamosi welcome bye cassie everyone have a wonderful week hey cassie you too enjoy your weekend cassie thanks for hanging out with us make sure to click the like button on the way out if you haven't already also the ape art re related nft projects wouldn't exist if it wasn't for amc and Jan dude no doubt they wouldn't exist uh, not a doubt at all so it just goes to show how much the ape community has affected society and web3 movie no joke uh, frodo i 100 percent agree with that dude board ape yacht club wouldn't be anything that it is without the abe community and people buying amc and gamestop you are absolutely right man absolutely right my gosh i can't believe farming's been sitting so still five shares 19 shares 109 shares zero shares being traded not doing anything at this 1309 level right here Uh, Clipper, got a question. All this Sheba they got sent. Oh, I saw that already. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Ortex. Chad, I do not have Ortex data, man. Casey, bye bye. You have one of weekend, too. Yes, you don't follow me on Twitter. Mel the Mamas. You follow me? Go tag me and someone on Twitter, man. I'll follow you. Bye, Cassie. Have a great weekend. Peak of power. What's going on? Zachary New. I literally don't have anything new in here, man. I don't have anything new in here to show you something new, but I do appreciate the new super sticker. Zachary, thank you very much for the super sticker. Ethereum founder VB said he was going to use money for some charity causes. I didn't care because he wasn't going to buy Shiba and send it to a burn wallet. Roulette, gotcha, man. Gotcha. Bye, Cassie. Have a great weekend. Cassie, enjoy it. I was joking. Nobody believes Ortex anymore. Chad. <laughs> Good deal, man. Good deal. Pug, third time seeing you today. Where else did you see him? Come on, man. Lottery stocks. What's going on, Lottery? Lottery, did you end up going live yesterday? I never saw you anywhere. But anyway, um... Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what I was saying before that now. Oh, today was crazy, though, dude. Today was a wild day in the market. I, I hate the red days we've been seeing lately. Pugnacious, does AMC Trapper know? Oh, my gosh. Uh, AMC Trapper, do you know? What does Trapper need to know? No, I don't even know what Trapper needs to know. Guys, a little recap. AMC doing nothing after hours. Shiba Inu Coin doing nothing right now. Sitting at 2417. GameStop 138 flat. Farmy sitting flat at 1308. Doing absolutely nothing after hours. Uh, Prog is sitting down 0.15%. Uh, Ethereum, Shiba, Bitcoin all down. Sundial down. Mullen down. CEI break even. SPY down a half a percent after hours right now. Ew, the SPY is getting ripped after hours after having a brutal day. Down 2.74, down another half a percent after hours. That's tough, man. BBIG sitting flat after hours. Highcroft flat. And Netflix down a quarter of a percent after hours. I, uh, I I think we could be testing 200 on Netflix. I think Netflix could test 200. Not after hours here, but I, I do think that Netflix could be testing $200 a share here pretty soon. I'm cock out Optimus Prime. I don't even know if I follow you, Bella Mamas. Do I follow you? I don't even know if I follow you on Twitter. Cockeyed Optimus Prime. Very interesting. Uh, watch out for the snakes. Please watch out for the snakes, guys. We don't need any more snakes than we already had today. AMC is the father. What? You're pregnant? AMC. Who, who's, what are we talking about here? 
Just, oh, just trap her nose. Is that what you're talking about? Hello, Pika, coming in here with all that electricity, electric energy to pass it around. Thank you, friend. Yeah, Frodo, yes. I will shock this market back to life if I have to. Please, Pika, please shock this market back to life. We need some sort of a gain. I don't even care if it's, like, temporary. We need some sort of a gain. Pika, the snakes have been released into the lake. Literally, one went into the lake. The other one did not go into the lake. But the other one, the one, I, I booped his tail, and he did go into the lake. Um, and then came back, like, on the bank. But, yes. They've been released at the lake. If you guys are going to the lake today, be careful and don't get bit by a snake at the lake. Bed Bath & Beyond still doing nothing. Where is... ATER regained some ground throughout the rest of the day, though. But what did I? Oh, I wanted to see Tesla. I wanted to see Tesla, but I don't know where. I don't know where Tesla is. Dude, how did it fall off here? Come on. What are you doing? 200 shares? That's nonsense. Zero shares traded this minute, yet the price changed. Explain that to me. And then tell me how we got 200 shares and dropped it like a 2%. 1308 to 1285. Come on. Where's Tesla? Oh, man. Tesla ended in the red today. I don't even believe that. Yeah, today was a tough day. If you've got Tesla ending in the red today... Today was a tough day, especially after the amazing earnings that it had, selling off everything yesterday and then continuing to sell off today. Oh man, today was today was a hard day for the overall market, guys. Not remember that. Not just AMC and stuff. Clearly being bitten by this snake will jumpstart the crypto market. Roulette wheel. I'm not gonna lie. There's probably I probably have the chance of being bit by by a snake. I do not want in any way to be bit by a snake. But if I see any more in my yard, I will be grabbing them, and I will be putting them in that tub, and I will be taking them to the lake. Uh, unless I see, like, a really, really tiny one, and he just actually wants to be my friend or something, that could be a different story. But, no, dude, if he's going to make me sweat, like that big one was making me sweat earlier, mm -mm. no, we're not going to be friends with them. I need Zap too. I made the mistake of watching the news earlier and broke it. Don't ever watch the news, guys. Don't ever watch the news. I don't even care if it's like the news that you like. Just don't even watch it. Or really, don't even watch it. I don't even want to look at Twitter for anything other than like Ashiba stuff and AMC stuff. Don't, don't watch the news. Just don't do it. You're going to be so much. Like, go to the lake. Go find a snake in your backyard and take it to the lake. You're going to be better off than if you watch the news. Or if you scroll around on, on Facebook or Twitter or I don't know how bad it, like I don't use Instagram, but I don't know how bad it is. It's probably good in a sense because I, I don't think you see like random stuff on Instagram feed. I think it's like people you follow, right? So that might not be as bad. What a strange existence it must be not to have any arms or legs. Must be tough for snakes having to slither around all the time. Frodo, I imagine it is pretty difficult for them. But I also imagine that, I mean, dude, people are kind of afraid of snakes. So afraid, snakes are kind of, uh, I mean, they, they, yeah, they slither around everywhere. But things are afraid of them, dude. Things are afraid of them. Bug, that's one step uh, above Papa John's. What is it above? Pika, I am the godfather, though. Yes. By the power of the castle grace. I know I'm missing so much stuff here. Tagged you. Sup. Melamamas. If anybody else wants... If I don't follow you on Twitter and you do... Want to follow... Yeah, I was not following you. Now I do. Okay. Yeah, go tag me in something if you want me to follow you on Twitter if I don't follow you guys already. I have a lake in my backyard. Pugnacious. Well, there you go, man. <clears throat> go down, find some snakes in your backyard, and take them to the lake that's in your backyard. You don't have to go anywhere. You gotta watch out. The water snakes up around the islands in Lake Erie are nasty mean. They were actually on dirty jobs. 
Forget about it, dude. I ain't messing around with any water snakes. Garter snakes, I don't care. They, they're not really doing anything. But, no, nah, I ain't messing around with those snakes that got fangs, dude. Mm -mm. Dude, I'd take a shovel and chop their heads off before I mess around with them. Uh, garter snakes aren't going to do anything to anybody, though. Probably like growing up. Poor versus growing up rich. Kind of like growing up. Poor versus growing up. What a strange existence. Yeah, it might be. But And then everybody's afraid of the... Oh, man, that might be something. I have a backyard at the lake. There you go, life of a noble man. Yeah, it's under the record wheel of clay. I would much rather have arms and legs than have people scared of me. Frodo. I would also rather have arms and legs. But could you just imagine like being a snake and, and feeling like you're the, the lowest of the low because you literally have to slither around everywhere... But still, everybody parts way and lets you walk through, man. That, that's that's wild. Then I don't know why, uh, but a thankies is the funniest way of saying it. Pick a thankies. People say thankies instead of thank you now. I did not know this. And now I'm famous by association. Mella Mamas, very nice, very nice. Famous by association. I highly doubt it, dude. There's 37 people in here right now. <laughs> I wouldn't consider that famous, but I do consider um. I do consider you guys the toughest of the tough. Being able to handle days like today when the market... I, I mean, we are retesting the levels and the lows that we were at when Russia invaded Ukraine. Think about this. You know, we were right here the day before Russia invaded Ukraine. This is the massive invasion day. It just opened up, gapped way down here at 12.5, and then actually had a very, very nice day that day. Had some significant gains. Um, it, it moved like, I swear it was like 10%. 12.5 to 13.5. Yeah, it was almost 10%. The The market had ran up in this day because it gapped back down and then, and then just started to run. The next time we bounced off this line, we absolutely ran. We kind of did it here and ran back up. And then we did it here and ran all the way back up to 14.6. Unfortunately, this is going to be our third test of this line. If this line breaks... I mean, honestly, if, th if that line breaks, you know, we can see that we're going to have some much steeper declines back down here to, to 12. So we've got another 500 points that we could be losing if that line breaks. Below that, you're talking a little area in here at 11.5, and then 11, almost 10.8 is the next major level. So there can be some drastic declines if we do break this line, but I'm expecting 12.5 to hold up as a decent level of support. So we will keep our eyes on that, but it, it, it uh, it's tough to watch, man. I'm not going to lie. It's tough to watch. You guys are stronger than you think. Uh, and this may be the only live stream where we ponder the life ex experiences of snakes. Frodo, it might be, man, but I, I, I think that... I think there's a, a certain benefit to a slight distraction away from what the market is doing, too. And... And I'm not going to lie, dude. I, I go in other live streams, and I'm like, man, there's a lot of people in here. There's a lot of people in here. Maybe the trick is to ignore the chat and, and literally not say anything. I mean, if I was just sitting here like, okay, AMC, very interesting day that AMC stock had today. AMC tapped the resistance level at 17.6. Sorry, tapped the resistance level at 17.6. Sold off, stayed below the five-period moving average all day today. And then when it broke back above the five-period moving average, it decided to try and recover some of its losses earlier on in the day. NASDAQ, very similar action today. Um, just down from the get-go. Opened up slightly higher and, and ended up losing all day long. I'm not going to lie, dude. You know, channels like that do have more views and more viewers. I don't know if it's because those guys are a lot calmer and people can just handle them for longer periods of time or if they strictly do not like talking about snakes and, and chipmunks and random things in people's lives. But I would not have any fun. <laughs> I would not have any fun only doing that and having a 1,000 people in here as opposed to a 100 people in here. Dude, I'd rather have 100 people in here and have fun all day than bore myself out of my mind why, why, i wouldn't even why would i even want to get on if i was going to do that peak of power thank you for the super sticker peaky says meow 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 thank you very much pika for the super sticker see cats and snakes 
Cats and snakes and chipmunks. Cats and snakes and chipmunks right there. Pika, thank you very much for the super sticker. Absolutely appreciate you. Thanks, Clay. Have an awesome weekend, everyone. Pika, you as well. Enjoy your weekend, and thank you very much for being in here today. And I hope all of you guys do end up having a great weekend. I mean, I know I know the market has been tough, but you guys are tough too. And, and you're going to have a good weekend and everything's going to be fine. Extremely interesting the way circles are lining up and correlating with the spot. Oh, cycles are lining up and correlating. I was like, circles? What are, what are circles? Yeah, dude, the market is really following the overall. Or I mean, a lot of these smaller cap stocks are really following the overall indices right now. And the SPY has a ton of pull. Uh, I mean, basically everything is is following the SPY. And the last thing I want to see, so we are way down here. We could, let's get another line on here. Let's see where we're at. Right in this area. If not here. So if we don't bounce on Monday, which this is a little level of support that we have. Back in here, and then back in October, September, October, we tested it again. If we don't, if we bounce off this, excellent. If not, I would expect to see the spy drop to about 415 or so. So right in this area, right in here, is what we're looking at for support on the spy. Hopefully this one holds up, and I actually I would expect some relief on on Monday. If not, sometime mid next week when the spy is testing this 415 level. The NASDAQ is testing this 12.5 level. AMC potentially testing this 14.50 level. All of these levels of support seem like they're going to be hit around the exact same time. AMC 14.50, NASDAQ 12.5, and the SPY hitting about 4.15. Uh, I would imagine they're all going to line up pretty well there. And if they do, man, I, I hope for a, a nice rally off all of those. Pika, bye bye, darling. You too, Frodo. Bye bye, Danelle. Pika, see you next time, uh, next week, sometime. Have a great weekend. Absolutely. Adios, Pika. Man, you guys don't even say bye to me like that. Come on now. I need help. Can anyone help me get past the second identity verification on Robinhood? I don't have that phone anymore, and I'm trying to move my Bitcoin. You mean like two factor authentication? Dude, you'd have to be able to go in there and, and change the second factor part of your authentication, though. No? I feel like you can just change it to uh, either a different device or, like, an email or something. I, may, I might be wrong, but... Got anyone up on the bro? Enjoy your night. Boom! You two lottery stocks. Thank you very much for being in here and hanging out for a little while, man. Uh, if you guys want to go check out Lottery Stocks video after it gets it uploaded, absolutely, man, do it. But enjoy your weekend, Lottery Stocks. I hope everybody does enjoy the weekend. Get some rest because I don't know if, where you guys are at, but the weather's supposed to be nice here. I think it's supposed to be in like the 70s and 80s this weekend. So if it is nice for you guys too, um, please try to enjoy your weekend. Shiba Inu coin does seem to be trying to buy. Look, this looks really nice with all of these green lines. But now I'm noticing this is 2415 to 2430. I mean, that should look like this. That's really how flat. This is really how flat Shiba's been trading. That's really not even that exciting, you know? It just looks like when you stretch it out. Dwight, man, thank you very much for the super chat. Dwight says, Dwight's a liar. I heard Clay was eating a snake. When is this happening? Dwight, I can, uh, in uh, all honesty, tell you I do not ever plan on eating a snake. That garter snake did not smell good. That garter snake did not look like he tasted good. And that garter snake will not be eaten. Oh my gosh. Dwight, you actually got my mouth like drying up right now, thinking about biting into a snake, man. It was, it did, it was dirty and it did not look like he tasted good whatsoever. Um, D Dwight, thank you very much for that super chat, man. Can't say how much I appreciate you guys in here. 
but I am very confident that you will not catch me eating a snake. Uh, not even one that's like professionally prepared. Definitely not one that I catch in the backyard. But no, dude, no. I don't even know if I would eat one that is like professionally prepared from a five-star chef. Oh my gosh, dude. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have to take a drink of water. Oh man, no. All right, I'm gonna calm down. Stop, stop thinking about eating a snake. It's beautiful here in Southern California. Bright, shiny sun, a shiny, a, a sh what sunshiny day with cool breeze. Frodo, that actually sounds perfect, man. It's 63 and cloudy here right now, so it's not perfect, but uh, this weekend should be very nice. You put the snakes by your nose. So AMC Trapper, no, I didn't necessarily put the snake by my nose, but the other day when I held that snake, uh, I was, I didn't use a glove or anything when I was holding him, and then. Apparently, one of the one of the things that garter snakes will do if they feel threatened or if they're being held or or you know being handled is emit this really musky odor, and I can assure you, this stupid, I can assure you that it is musky. It's it sounds like you put your or it smells like you put your hand in mud and then like you smelled your hand. It. it it was not good, dude. It was not good. So, no, I didn't put the snake necessarily by my nose and sniff it, but I, I did smell my hand after I was holding the snake, and it doesn't smell good. A rattlesnake is like chicken, but much cleaner. Fred, there's n What? Did you wear gloves? No, today I did, yes. Yeah, so the last time, no. I'm Australia. I can supply the snake plenty of... No, Anthony, I'm not eating a snake. Luan says, uh, eat a snake, please. No, dude, I'm not eating a snake. What are you guys talking about? Dwight, look what you started, man. Look what you started. I'm not eating these snakes. Everybody's telling me to eat a snake now. Oh, my gosh. Dwight starting this eat a snake business. Luan saying, eat a snake, please. No, 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 man. I don't want to eat a snake. It's called pee clever. No, AMC. Dude, that snake better not have peed on me, dude. Now I get to see if snakes pee. The snake better not have peed on me. Nah, no, it did not, AMC Trapper. No, it did not. Look, snakes get rid of their waste similarly to most other animals. Once everything has been digested, the waste passes through an opening near the end of their tail called a uh, cloaca. Both the feces and ammonia acid come out in a solid state. Snakes don't really pee in the same way other animals do. Boom! I did not get peed on, man. I did not get peed on. Now, and you guys learned about snakes, too. Oh my gosh. So no, I didn't get peed on clay. I just let one go. I just I drew, No, spider. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are ridiculous, dude. Down under Australia has real snakes. Yes, here, dude, these are not dangerous snakes. The real snakes are bad snakes. I do not want to be involved with bad snakes. Be like, clay dirt, I got some snake poo on me. <laughs> Dude, Joe Dirt is one of the best movies ever, man. That movie's hilarious. Rattlesnake, once eaten, makes you a man, a real crypto trader. Plus, get hooked and you eat enough, the rattlesnake's skin makes for great shoes. You know what? The rattlesnake skin might make for good shoes, but I don't plan on eating any snakes. Oh my gosh. Justin, man, thank you very much for the super chat. I got 20, 250,000 Dogecoin, 1 billion Shiba, 8,000 Cardano, and 2 billion Doge on Mars. I am, I hoping by the end of the years to see good profits. Justin, I absolutely hope the same thing for you, man. I, I do not own any. Actually, I only have Shiba out of those ones that you listed there. I did have Cardano, but I, I sold my Cardano, I think, at $1.46. Dollar forty six, I think. Um, so I got out of Cardano. I sold my Dogecoin. I think it's thirty six cents. So I don't hold any of that anymore. And I am holding Shiba Inu coin. I do not own any Doge on Mars, and do not plan on owning any Doge on Mars. But uh, dude, I hope you make some sick profits. I hope Dogecoin goes to a dollar for you. You're holding a lot of Dogecoin there, man. I hope it goes to a dollar for you. That would be incredible. 
It, I got fifty dollars of clear. It's a Tim. No, man, I'm not eating one of these snakes. I can't eat one of these snakes. No, I can't do it. Clear eating snake. Destin. No, I'm not eating a snake, man. You guys are making me squirm, dude. You guys are making me squirm. I am not eating a snake, jo dude. Dwight, look what you started here, man. Look what Dwight started with this eat a snake nonsense. This dude's getting everybody hyped up to have me eat a snake. And I'm not doing it. I can't do it. Uh, one, I, I liked the, that little snake. The big one, the big one freaked me out. The little one was cool. And he was looking at it. He's like, <laughs> like sticking his tongue out. But the big one, the big one freaked me out. The big one would have been a meal. Forget about that. People should not brag about how much crypto. It can make the target for scammers. They are everywhere. There really are scammers everywhere. Yeah, guys, do be careful if you if you run across anybody that wants to know like how much crypto you got or if you'll send them some or anything like that. We eat snakes all the time. Kangaroos, crocodile, emus. Every Anthony, you guys eat kangaroo? Are you lying to me, dude? This channel is a vibe. This channel is a vibe, plain Pat. This channel is a vibe, man. Um, is it true you eat kangaroo though? Dude, I hope you ain't eating kangaroo. Can't, it can't even taste good. Hey, please tell me, is there ever going to be a short squeeze? Tony, yes. There will be a short squeeze, man, when the shorts cover, right? I mean, when that will be, I do not know. How high it's going to squeeze, I do not know. But I am confident that the shorts will cover their shares. Uh, it's going to take a lot for AMC to go bankrupt. And if AMC goes bankrupt, that's the only way that the shorts don't have to cover their shares. So I am, I am much, much, much more confident in AMC not going bankrupt than going bankrupt. So I am very confident that the shorts will cover, yes, but the increase in demand from those shorts covering, if people get so sick that they're just willing to sell on the next run-up, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how high it squeezes. I just know that the shorts have to cover. Uh, if you eat a Burger King, you eat kangaroo. <laughs> well, the good news is I haven't had Burger King in quite some time. So, therefore, I don't think I've had any snakes to... to eat in quite some time i've drank cobra blood it just buck up and eat a snake easy 50 bucks tim you were the one that said you drank cobra but cobra cobra blood because of the marines right because of the military i'm a butcher so a lot of kangaroo there's no way anthony you're no way you're butching kangaroos do they have a deadline on when to cover unfortunately tony there's no deadline on when they have to cover it's the same as you owning the stock right? You don't have a deadline on when you have to close your shares. They don't have a deadline on when they have to close their shares. Now, there's some certain factors. You literally could hold your stock forever and sit on a loss forever, sit on a gain forever if you wanted to, but they pay an annualized fee split up to every day in order to borrow those shares to short them. So it, the cost to borrow right now is extremely low, um, and if it increases, they're going to be more likely to cover their shares because think about it. If the cost to borrow is at a hundred percent, if they waited an entire year with a 100% cost to borrow, they would be guaranteed never to make any money. Even if the stock price went to zero, they would be guaranteed to never make money on their short play. So yeah, the higher the cost to borrow, the more likely and the more dangerous it is for the shorts to continue holding their stocks. I just went along with AMC, uh, by 25, uh, 25th, June 17, $35 calls. If we drop to 14, I'm gonna buy 40 more, 2000 on hold for the MOAS. I just bought 50 calls for B of BBIG for July. Somebody please squeeze soon. I, yeah, I agree, Spider. I, I hope that one of these guys squeezes soon here. Start an NFT, it can lead to a token calling it Eat Snakes. I'm not, I'm not making an eat snake NFT, man. No, because then you guys are going to want me to eat a snake. Snake Bro channel, smash that like button. Do it. Smash that like button by Clip Bro. You're the greatest. Hope you have a snake free and a happy weekend. Dunno. Thank you very much. So a lot of kangaroo snacks. Stay. Uh, the mince me. You guys messed up, man. No, we're not selling any kangaroos. I know, Anthony, you're messing with me. 
Guys, it is five o'clock though. Get your name in the chat. Let's get some shout outs going on. I hope that every single one of you enjoys your weekend. Stay snake free, like Danelle said. If you find any, take them to the lake, but stay snake free. ATER max cost to borrow is over 200%. It's for Ortex data. Thinking about that for a second. Also, 100% you do the. Yeah, Frodo, that's ridiculous. I mean, they wouldn't even be able to keep those shorts alive for more than uh, like six months at that, that level to guarantee that they are in negative territory on those shorts. They would guarantee themselves a loss. Have a great day. Yeah, let's do these shout outs, guys. Dwight, man, thank you. Everybody that just sent a super chat, especially because Dwight's messing with me with the eating a snake thing. Thank you very much for that. Absolutely appreciate you, man. And uh, we'll get these shout outs going. Tim says, we can't leave without seeing that licking stick technique, man. So, Tim, we got you. You got the banana. I'm thinking about Tim, but I'm looking at Trapper. Are you ready for this? It's called the lick and the stick. Tim, thank you very much for the super chat. Oh, man. And right after that, right after that banana. Mmm. Yum. Spider. Yum. Mmm. That banana. Yum. Thank you very much, Spider. You guys are awesome, man. Let's do these shout outs and then we will be back with videos at 7 p.m., videos at 8 p.m. Appreciate everybody clicking the like button, sharing them, and doing all that good stuff. Thank you in advance for that. But Pringleton, shout out to you, Spider Paul, Anthony Pringleton, Frodo, Tim, man, Mella Mama, so enjoy your weekend. Tim, Spider Claw, Pugnacious, uh, have a good weekend as well. Paul, AMC Trapper, yeah, AMC Trapper is sitting there like this. I know he is, man. He's looking, licking, sticking that snake. No, Mella Mama will not be licking and sticking any snakes there. Spider Claw, yum means snake is good. No, yum means that banana was good, not a snake. Nufo, see you later. Plain, uh, plain Pat Views, see you later, man. Enjoy your time or enjoy your weekend. Dwight, have a good weekend as well, man, and thank you very much. If I do eat snake this weekend, I'm going to be thinking of Dwight. Mellow Mamas, Anthony, Tim, AMC Trapper saying peace out to the Diamond Handed Apes. Zachary Nufo says Shiba Inu to Pluto. Ahoo! Fred, Clip, we start a new NFT business. Do you want in? I do want in the NFT business. Yes, Fred, come on. Pringleton, see y'all, snake man. See y'all later. All right, you guys know what time it is. So if you want to say it with me, say it with me. Rule that wheel and pugnacious. See you guys since I didn't get your names there. Till the next time. Hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.